In this video, we're going to be rounding fractions to the nearest benchmark. Now, these benchmarks are always zero, half, or one whole. Now, we can actually use number lines to help us determine if that fraction is closer to the zero benchmark, the half benchmark, or all the way closer to the full one whole. Now, our number lines here don't have to be exact because we're kind of just sketching them out. So I have 7 eighths. I'm going to make a really quick number line from 0 to 1, and I want to break it apart into 8 sections. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, I'm going to try and find the 7th part, so I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 eighths is much closer to the benchmark of one whole, so 7 eighths is approximately one whole. Let's look at another example. Three-fifths. We're going to make a really quick number line, starting at zero. Ooh. Draw my line first, starting at zero. Five parts. One, two, three, four, five. This is my one whole. I have a little extra. That's okay. Now I'm going to count three parts of this number line. One, two, three. Three fifths. It's pretty close to the center. Okay? So if it's pretty close to the middle, that's going to be about one half. So we have approximately one half. Now, if you're unsure, if it looks like it's a little bit closer to one than the other, you can round up. In this case, it was much closer to the middle, so I went with one half. Last example, rounding one eighth. Again, we're gonna make a really quick number line, starting at zero and counting eight parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that's my one whole. Now, I only want one of those parts, so I count one, one eighth is much closer to the benchmark of zero, so one eighth is approximately zero.